Okay, we're gonna be doing a warm and cool landscape today using lines. Um, your warm colors, you wanna think of more the colors of the sun, think of summertime, um, the heat. So we have our yellow, our orange and red. And then our cool colors, you wanna think of more nighttime. So think of those blues, the purples and the greens. Um, so we, it's light versus dark with the warm colors being light, the cool colors being the dark colors. So we're gonna start more on the ground space here. Um, so I'm gonna start by making the look of hills. Now you do not have to do hills, you can do mountains. You can just do a simple um, horizon line across. I'm really not that picky. Um, so I'm gonna do a couple of wide curved lines. So see how my first curved line is right here on the front towards the bottom of my picture. Um, I stretched it out till about midway through. And then my second line here, here's my second one. So I start touching my first line, go all the way off the opposite edge. Um, I'm gonna do one more here. So I have about three um, hills. Of course you can do more than three. Um, it's your artwork, you're the artist, so your choice. Um, so I have one, two, three hills. Now I'm going to do a very basic sky. I'm going to keep this so simple for all of you so you're not confused at home. Um, I grab like a bowl and you can actually use this to trace a circle. Um, I'm going to do more of like the sun is setting, a sunset here. So I'm going to have it halfway in the ground space, halfway in the sky. Um, so as you're doing this, I would just pause the video as you do each step so you don't get too ahead of yourself. So pause it whenever you need to, rewind it, whatever you have to do. So I traced half of my circle here so it looks like the sun is setting. Of course, you can have it up in the sky. I always try to tell my Tyler students not to have it in the corner. Um, try to get that sun in the middle of your sky or a sunset to be a little bit more creative. Okay, so from there, I'm gonna think about color. I'm keeping it very simple for all of you. Um, the ground, we need it to be more of those cool colors. So I honestly didn't bring home any materials. I was not anticipating all this time off. So I'm using my kids markers. Um, so they have these little Crayola markers where I kind of just took out a couple of the cool colors, a couple of the warm colors. We were out of the red, so we just have a red dry erase marker. It works fine. So for the ground space here, I'm just gonna pick one of my cool colors. So I'm gonna pick green and I'm gonna start down here. So I'm gonna outline, oh, this is a little hard to do. Um, I'm gonna outline my first line here and then I'm gonna add lines to color in. So we're not doing our normal coloring um, back and forth where we're filling the space. We're kind of filling the space more with lines. You know, the wider or the more space you have in between the lines, the lighter it will look. The closer you have the lines, the darker it will look. So it's completely up to you how you want to go about it. Okay, so there's my first green hill. Um, let's see, maybe I do a blue one. That's one of my cool colors. And on this project, I have an attachment where it lays out which are your warm and which are your cool. So make sure you have that up and you're looking at that. You can do those, I call them ish colors, right? So if it's a light purple, a purplish, that's fine. Um, or a lighter green, a greenish, that's fine. Um, so whatever you can find, you can do this in crayons. You, if you want to attempt painting it, great. I'm going to do this hill a purple one because why not? That's the fun part of art. You can kind of just get as creative as you want with color and it works. Now knowing me, because I always like to kind of go back and add some things. I probably will add a couple of colors in between these lines for fun. Does that mean you have to? Not at all. 
but maybe like this hill here, I might add like maybe like dark green in between these lines. So this is probably more um, a step if you're in third grade. So if you're in first grade or even second grade, you don't have to do this. Um, if you want to, please do so. I'm just kind of giving you all sorts of options. And look, some it's not perfect. My lines are kind of hitting other lines. It's totally fine, just have some fun. See, I'm kind of combining. This marker's dried out because my kids at home always forget to put the caps back on. Drives me crazy. And if you're one of my students at Tyler School, you know that drives me crazy. All right, I don't have another purple, another shade of purple. I don't think I do. Oh, wait, I found one. This actually has a tad bit of pink in it just fine because it still reads as purple. Now I know a lot of you are thinking, oh, pink, I want to use pink. If you use pink, use it with the warm colors in the sky. Okay, so now I'm going to start on my sky. Now the sun, I would just go ahead and color in the sun. Okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm trying to do this as quick as I can. I want you guys to take your time, but I don't want the video to be too long. So again, make sure you're pausing in between your steps. And again, yours does not have to look like mine. I would prefer it to not look like mine. I'm gonna now go around my sun with some yellow. So it looks like it's radiating that yellow. Looks like I got a little bump going on there. I'll fix that up here. Okay, let's see. Next, I'm gonna do an orange. So again, you can have your lines as close together as you want and let those um, curved lines go off the space. Now, if I want to do pink, I would squeeze the pink in now after the orange. It's completely optional, but I know there's always a couple of them that are just dying to get some pink in there. There we go. Oop. Okay, so notice my lines are not perfect, so don't worry about making this Perfect. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna end with the red. This is a really skinny red. So the line thickness will look a little different, but that's all right. I'm gonna continue it over here too. I might outline this with a black marker when I'm done just to get some of these lines to pop. Maybe I'll bring some of this red. Now this is more of like, if you're in third grade and wanna challenge yourself. And hey, if you're in first and second grade and you're like, I wanna challenge myself, I can do that. Go for it. So I'm just bringing like my colors in. If I can find this one. Um, so I'm bringing this like pink into the orange, but you don't have to do this. Oops, I messed up. See, even our teachers mess up. This is a challenge to do with this document camera. There. See, I'm kind of combining those. And then I'm gonna end with outlining. Hope I can find, oh, here's a black. Let's see if it actually works though. Okay, so I'm gonna outline my sun. I don't have to outline everything. I'm just gonna do my sun in the hills just so they pop a little bit more. Now on the handout, some of them have like, 
You can add trees. That is fine. You do not have to. So just have fun. I'm gonna go back after this and kind of clean up some of my lines, but this is our finished product. Have fun, make it your own. There's no right or wrong.